All right, well, so far my painting project here at the house has been a complete and utter failure. Uh, I've spent 16 hours painting the walls and ceilings downstairs and was fairly far into it. And then we decided we didn't really like the colors. Uh, it had too much of a pink and purple tinge or reddish pink tinge to the taupe that we picked. So uh, we spent the next weekend going back and forth to the paint store, buying different sample colors and coming out and painting them. They'd look great in the store, but then they'd look totally different. We, we got it here in the house. And we tried different kinds of uh, ceiling lights, different brightnesses, different wavelengths and everything, and just really did not find a, a good combination. So I started thinking that part of my problem might be that the, the taupe color that's on the walls uh, in the living room where we were painting the swatches and then the, uh, the light taupe ceiling that we painted might be skewing the colors a little too much and not giving us a true rendition of what they're supposed to be. So we moved into the kitchen here, which still has the primer on the walls. It does have the light taupe ceiling already, but uh, for the most part, everything is white in here. All the walls were white. So we painted some of the swatches like you can see behind me uh, in here. And my wife is kind of leaning towards this shiitake that's on, on the window here, this one. And uh, I'm, I'm a little hesitant. I think it looks a little dark, but uh, that's what she keeps leaning towards. So that may be what we wind up going with, but uh, what we're gonna do in the meantime is we went ahead and we took all the lights back that we had and I went and I ordered some off the internet that are, uh, the, the lights that I could find here in town were all a 90 degree pattern. So they, they made a, a, a fairly sharp cone. And uh, I found some online that had a 120 degree pattern. So they were a little bit wider. And what I'm hoping is that that wider pattern is going to reduce the shadow that we had uh, along the corners of the ceiling. Uh, the recessed lights that I had before stuck up in the can probably an inch and a half or so. Uh, so they, they didn't light the corners of the room very well at all. The lights that I've ordered now actually stick down below the ceiling probably about three quarters of an inch and they have a wider pattern on them. So I'm hoping that reduces the, the shadows along the ceiling. And then uh, we went ahead and we picked up some ceiling white and we're just gonna repaint this uh, off white that we have the ceilings now. Gonna paint it a, a ceiling white, which has a, a higher light index. So it reflects, reflects more light down and it should brighten the room up a little bit. And once we've got the ceilings repainted and I put in the permanent lights, we'll turn those on. If we like the shiitake, we'll go with it. If we don't, we're going to go back to the paint store and we're going to bring home the fan book, which is uh, pretty much all the color chips that they have in one little book that you can bring and you can take them out and put them up on the wall and see what the paint looks like in your house with your lighting. So for now, uh, before I can get started on it, uh, the first time I painted the ceilings, I rolled them, but I'm going to repaint them this time. And I think I'm going to use the airless and spray them and see how that does. So since I'm going to be spraying, I've got to cover the windows and the doors and things like that. So we don't get over spray on. So let's go ahead and get everything masked off and then we'll start mixing the paint back up and get our airless set up and start painting the ceilings. Back out into here 
And then once we get the paint coming out, we'll be ready to switch it over and start spraying the ceilings. is uh, clogged up and I didn't realize that. So I'm gonna have to run to the store and get a different tip. Uh, this isn't really the, the size I wanted to use. This is a 515, I'm really kind of hoping for like a 517 or 521. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run to the store and get the size I was really wanting and uh, we'll worry about cleaning this tip up uh, at another time. So give me a few minutes, I'll run to the store and uh, hopefully when I get back we can get started painting. put in and it's all primed up and we're ready to start painting. So I'm going to go bump the generator up off of the condo mode so the lights don't dim quite as much every time the uh, airless comes on and then uh, we'll get started. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've shot the entire downstairs uh, ceiling with one coat of this uh, bright white ceiling paint. And it definitely brightens the room up over the, uh, the previous white that we had. So I think we're on the right track now and I'm gonna come back tomorrow and check the ceilings and see if I need to put a second coat on any of it. And if I do, I'll go ahead and reshoot that tomorrow. And then once that's dry, I can start putting the ceiling lights in. So. Let's let this dry overnight and we'll check it tomorrow and see whether we need a second coat or not. All right, well once all the ceilings dried, all of them look good except for the kitchen ceiling and it looked like it might need a second coat. So I went ahead and shot a second coat on it real quick. And while that's drying off, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some of these uh, can lights in in the living room so we can get an idea of what they're gonna look like. I don't know if that'll focus uh, for you there or not, but this is, this is the light that we're using. So it's a uh, 100 watt equivalent, it uses 15 watts of power, it's 1100 lumens, and it's a 3000K dimmable light. And the reason that I selected this particular light is because it doesn't actually go up in the can. You can see it's a very thin light, but it's gonna go flush on the ceiling so it'll, it'll stick down a half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch below the ceiling. And it's got a 120 degree uh, beam pattern. So it's a wider pattern than a lot of the uh, lights that actually recess up into the cans. And I'm hoping that's gonna reduce the shadowing effect around the corners of the ceiling. So let's go ahead and start getting some of these put in and then uh, we'll turn them on and see what they look like.
All right, so I've gotten all the lights in uh, here in the kitchen and in the living room. And these two rooms are much, much brighter now uh, than what they were before. So I'm very happy with the lights, the, uh, the wider beam pattern, and having it just below the ceiling instead of recessed into the can. Got rid of all the shadowing that I had uh, along the ceilings there. And the, uh, the 1100 lumens versus the 650 lumens brighten the room up. And then the 3000K versus the 2700K took just a little bit of the reddish orange out of the color of the light. And I really like this color. So uh, now all we have to do is come back and freshen up our paint samples because there's a little bit of uh, a white overspray on this from the ceilings. Uh, so we'll freshen those up, make sure we like one of the ones we've already bought. If we don't like one of the ones we've already bought under these lights, we're going to go back to Sherwin-Williams and pick up their uh, fan board, which is all the paint chips in a little sample case. Uh, bring them out here under these lights and see what they look like in the house. And I'm confident now that once we do that and we buy the paint, we'll be, be happy with it. So. Hopefully uh, one more trip to the paint store should do it. And uh, then we can finally start making some traction on getting these walls painted. So until then, y'all keep checking back.